My fellow Americans, Supreme Allied Commander General MacArthur and Allied representatives on the battleship Missouri in Tokyo Bay. The thoughts and hopes of all America, indeed of all the civilized world, are centered tonight on the battleship Missouri. There on that small piece of American soil, anchored in Tokyo Harbor, the Japanese have just officially laid down their arms. They have signed terms of unconditional surrender. Four years ago, the thoughts and fears of the whole civilized world were centered on another piece of American soil, Pearl Harbor. The mighty threat to civilization which began there is now laid at rest. It was a long road to Tokyo and a bloody one. We shall not forget Pearl Harbor. The Japanese militarists will not forget the USS Missouri. The evil done by the Japanese warlords can never be repaired or forgotten. But their power to destroy and kill has been taken from them. Their armies and what is left of their navy are now impotent. To all of us, there comes first a sense of gratitude to Almighty God who sustained us and our allies in the dark days of grave danger, who made us to grow from weakness into the strongest fighting force in history, and who has now seen us overcome the forces of tyranny that sought to destroy his civilization. God grant that in our time of this hour, we may not forget the hard tests that are still given to us, that we may have proceeded with the same and I want you to American men and women have given their lives so that the day of ultimate victory might come and assure the survival of a civilized world. No victory can make good their loss. We think of those who death in this war has hurt, taking from them fathers, husbands, sons, brothers and sisters whom they love. No victory can bring back the faith. Because I could want you back to the station. Talk about a manifestation Cause I could walk you back to the station